Today we're talking about something crucial for all my designers out there, creating a UX portfolio that doesn't just showcase your work, but actually helps land you that dream job. Building a portfolio can be a daunting task, especially since it's your primary tool to stand out in a sea of talented designers. But don't worry, in this video we're going to walk you through the key steps that you will need to create a portfolio that not only reflects your skills, but also makes hiring managers say, we need this person. First things first, you need to tell people who you are. Your portfolio isn't just about your work, it's about you. Right on your homepage, introduce yourself. Give them a reason to care about your story. Now, I'm not saying you need to write a novel, but let them know what drives you as a designer. Share a bit about your background, your passions, and your design philosophy. People want to work with people, not just a set of skills, so show them who you are. Keep it concise and impactful. If you want to go deeper, you can always add an about me section that dives into your journey in more detail. Think of this section as the handshake before the interview. It's your chance to make a memorable first impression, one that encourages people to explore the rest of your portfolio with curiosity. By giving them a glimpse into who you are, you're inviting them to see the passion behind the projects. And that connection? Well, it could be what sets you apart from the rest. Next up, step number two, your case studies. These are the heart of your portfolio, but here's the trick. Don't just throw in every project that you've ever worked on. Be selective. Choose three to five projects that truly showcase your skills and align with the type of work you want to do moving forward. When presenting your case studies, take your audience through the process. Start by explaining the project goals and the problems you were solving. Then outline your role, whether you led the project, collaborated with the team, or worked independently. Be specific about your contributions and show your thought process. Storytelling is key. Don't just describe what you did, explain why you made certain decisions. Highlight how you approach challenges and the design choices you made along the way. This not only shows your skills, but also your strategic thinking. Finally, focus on the results. If you have metrics, great. Use them to demonstrate your impact. If not, emphasize what you learned from the project and how it contributed to your growth as a designer. Remember to include high quality visuals that support your narrative, but don't give everything away. Leave room for questions in interviews, creating intrigue that makes hiring managers want to learn more. Moving on to step number three, highlighting your skills. Now that you've showcased your work, this section is all about giving hiring managers a quick and clear snapshot of what you're capable of. But don't just list your skills in a plain format. Get creative. Use icons, visuals, or categories to make your skills stand out and easy to scan. For example, group them into areas like design tools, user research, or prototyping to organize everything neatly. If possible, link your skills to specific case studies or projects. This way, you're not just telling them what you can do, you're showing them how you've already applied these skills in real-world situations. The goal is to make it super easy for someone to see what you bring to the table and do it in a way that's visually engaging. Because no one wants to read a wall of text that feels like a novel from the 1800s. Keep it fun, keep it clear, and make them say, wow, this person gets it. Step number four, share your relevant credentials. While tech is all about skills and proof through your case studies, adding any educational credentials or certifications can still be a nice touch. Whether it's a UX design certification, a degree, or a specialized course, these credentials help reinforce that you're committed to continuous learning and professional growth. Think of this as another layer of credibility. It shows that you're serious about your craft and that you're keeping up with the latest trends and tools in the industry. You don't need to go overboard. Just make sure that any credentials or courses you list are relevant to the roles you're aiming for. And the best place to include these? Your resume or your about page. That way, hiring managers can quickly see the full picture of your background. Remember, while credentials aren't everything, they can be an extra boost that shows you're not just coasting, you're always leveling up. Step number five, passion projects. These aren't just fillers for your portfolio. They're your chance to show off what you can do when the creative reins are all yours. Whether it's redesigning an app for fun or creating a brand new product from scratch, personal projects highlight your creativity and initiative, skills that sometimes speak louder than client work. Treat these projects like the real deal. Break them down just like you would with your case studies. What problem were you solving? How did you approach it? What was the result? This shows that you take all your work seriously, not just the paid gigs. And hey, don't forget any blogs you've written, talks you've given, or podcasts that you've been a part of. These aren't just side activities. 
they're proof that you're actively contributing to the design community, which definitely helps makes you stand out as someone who's always pushing the envelope. Step number six, testimonials. These little gems can be a game changer for your portfolio. A glowing recommendation from a client or colleague isn't just about making you look good, it's about building trust. And trust me, hiring managers love knowing that someone else has already had a great experience working with you. But don't just shove them all on a separate page, place them strategically throughout your portfolio. Maybe after a case study or in a section that highlights your skills. And if you worked with recognizable brands, throw in those logos, instant credibility boost. Think of testimonials as your portfolio's hype squad. Use them to reinforce everything that you've showcased so far and make it even harder for someone to say no to you. And finally, step number seven, make it easy to reach you. Seriously, after wowing them with your portfolio, the last thing you want is for someone to struggle to find out how to get in touch. Make your contact details super easy to spot, whether it's your email, LinkedIn, or even a downloadable resume. Consider placing it on your homepage, your about page, or even at the bottom of every section if you're feeling bold. The easier it is to reach you, the faster you're going to land that dream gig. And there you have it, seven steps to building a UX portfolio that's not just a collection of work, but a powerful tool to land your dream job. Remember, your portfolio is more than just pretty pictures and cool projects. It's a story about who you are as a designer and the value you bring to the table. So take your time, be intentional with what you include and make sure it reflects the work you want to do in the future. Also, keep in mind that your portfolio should evolve as you grow. Make sure to keep it updated and fresh as your skills and experiences expand. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. And as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. One more thing, this video was inspired by a blog post that Laura, a professional UX UI designer wrote. So if you want even more details than what we included today, make sure to check out the full post, linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Now go out there and create something amazing. Your dream job is waiting.